On the 18th of February 1977, over 1,000 soldiers stormed Kalakuta, Fela's abode at number 14A Agege Motor Road, Mushin, destroyed his property, raped his wives and threw his mother, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti, out of the second floor window. She later died from her injuries. The army claimed unknown soldiers carried out the act. 43 years later, on the 20th of October 2020, the same army stormed a peaceful protest at the Lekki toll gate and massacred peaceful protesters who were protesting police brutality and extrajudicial killings, government high-handedness and impunity, corruption, high rate of unemployment, incessant kidnappings, header rapes and killings across the country, hike in electricity tariffs, petroleum products and VAT, perceived political domination of the country by one tribe over the rest, the continued looting of the treasury under the guise of the Boko Haram war, underfunding of education, the police and healthcare, and a government that has failed miserably. They lumped their grievances under the hashtag NSARS and used the power of social media to draw the attention of the world to the plight of Nigerians, especially the Nigerian youth. Their crime on the 20th of October 2020 was twofold, posed the Buhari regime to the world for what it was, and they dared to protest. This was their crime, and for that soldiers were sent to riddle them with bullets, because they are bastards. Nobody owns them. They don't have mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters. They don't have families. They are stateless. They don't matter, so shoot them like stray dogs. This the soldiers did with precision, and at the end of the night, reports had it that over 10 people were killed. The soldiers made just one mistake. They underestimated the so-called bastard youths as a fearless and courageous DJ switch live streamed the massacre for the whole world to see. As the inevitable blowback, condemnations and recriminations started pouring in from within Nigeria and across the world, the Nigerian army has once again blamed unknown soldiers for this act. 43 years later and the Nigerian army still has unknown soldiers within its ranks. The unknown soldiers took hundreds of protesters hostage and shot at them like stray dogs and the whole country was watching the horror. And at no point did the army command send known soldiers to investigate what unknown soldiers were doing to innocent Nigerian citizens. Incidentally, that same day, in broad daylight, unknown security agents escorted hoodlums to the Wusetu area of Abuja to attack innocent protesters. They were shooting like it was a Wild Wild West movie. And again, no known security agents showed up to intercept them or investigate the incident. This is the highest form of impunity from a democratic government. Ruth CV joins all well-meaning organizations and individuals to demand justice for the victims and justice for Nigerians. We will work with the Nigerian Bar Association and any individuals and organizations who want to pursue international sanctions against this regime. Ruth TV will leave no stone unturned to ensure that justice is done in this matter. This is the year 2020. There is no room for such impunity and no hiding place for the perpetrators. They are known and they will face justice. For a government who thought they were stateless bastards, we want to inform you that they have mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters who will mourn them. Nigerians will also mourn them, for they are now our heroes. May their souls rest in perfect and eternal peace.